he felt comfortable in it, <laughs> then they're good for him. It's a bit revealing. It's something you probably see someone wear on holiday. Why in the hell would you want to dress up as a horse to the Met Gala? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen, by the title of today's video, I am going to be reacting to the Met Gala outfits for 2021 because I am not going to lie to you guys, some of these outfits this year have been very questionable and I know that a lot of them always are, however, they seem to be getting stranger and stranger every year and I thought that I would make it into a video and react to all these outfits because I feel as if it would be quite entertaining and yes, some of them are very bizarre. I'm sure you guys have probably already seen a few of them and thought, what the hell is that? I'm going to sit at this side of the camera because I'm going to screen record me reacting to the outfit. So I'm just going to load up the Met Gala Instagram because that is where like all the photos are. So please excuse the state of me. I barely have any makeup on again because it's actually so warm outside and, and I also had zero effort as well to put makeup on this morning. So I'm just on the Met Gala Instagram now and if we go back to the first photos I'll start screen recording from there. I'm quite excited because some of these outfits are definitely out there 100%. can be funny to be able to laugh at them, well they're not a laugh at them but I mean like react to them. Some of them may be funny you know. I'm already looking and I'm thinking, what is that? But you know, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So, first person, this is Alicia L. Quarles and she's in a purple dress. I mean, I think it's pretty standard for the Met Gala. It's not too out there. It's not like ugly. It's just like a purple dress. So, yes, I like it. I think she looks nice. I don't know who she is, but I think her dress is nice and it's, as I said, it's not too bizarre. It's just kind of like standard. So yes, moving on to the next person. This is Emma Chamberlain. Isn't she a YouTuber? I don't actually watch her, but I was quite surprised to see her at the Met Gala because she obviously is a YouTuber and I know that a YouTubers these days go to these type of events but I wasn't expecting it and I also think that a lot of other people weren't expecting her to be there as well but you know it's fine and I think she actually looks so pretty like she looks very glamorous it's not over the top it's like it's a bit cutty out here but I like that and I think she looks really pretty yeah like I really wasn't expecting her to be the Met Gala but here she is and like her hair isn't like too big or anything it's just very like natural but I like that look so yeah I think she looks really nice as well next one who is this this is Lana I mean it's all right I, I would say she looks nice but her dress I'm not really keen on personally who else agrees do you like her dress do you not the amount of Instagram stories I have seen where people are putting polls up of the outfit is unbelievable but if I had to vote on this one I would probably say I'm not really keen on it okay I don't know who she's either so I'm not trying to offend her I mean they're well done for going to the Met Gala but yeah it's an orphan me <laughs> the next one oh who is this she's called Kiki right I think she actually looks stunning her dress again isn't out there it's still very glitzy glammy but she looks unreal like i like the glittery effect on the dress her hair is like so nice i love the kind of afro hair i think it looks really nice and also her earrings as well yeah so i'm gonna give that a yes i like that dress and it's not too out there the next one who is this anna winter i mean it's just obviously in the older age range. I'm not trying to be mean, but she is. Um, 
Her dress, I actually don't mind it. I think for her, it suits her because like, she's a bit older. It's a bit more of like an old lady dress. I think she looks quite nice. Again, it's not too out there. It kind of is a bit more like in your face, but not too much. It's still a nice kind of floral dress and it suit her again. So yeah, I'll probably give it a yes. She still looks really nice. So yes. Now, moving on to the next one. This is Becca Rossini. Um, oh, and this is Anna Winterstar who we just looked at before. She must be pregnant because like she, she's holding a bump. But to be honest, I like the colour of her dress. I think because if she's pregnant, it maybe makes her look a bit bigger. But at first, when I seen her in this dress the other day, I, I was a bit like, really? But the more I see her in it, I actually am warming towards it. And now it's like, isn't my favourite again? Yeah, but because she's pregnant, I've obviously got to be kind. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's not the nicest dress I've seen, but it isn't the most out there as well. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. The next up, who is this? Nia Dennis, honestly, I don't have a clue who all these people are, but it's fine. She is just wearing, a, like, a full-on blue suit. I mean, you would typically see a, a woman going to the Met Gala in a dress. However, a yes girl, just do like, do what you want to do and what you want to wear. I mean, for the Met Gala, personally, I probably would have maybe dressed up a bit more because it's like a, a big event. However, if she wants to wear that, I'd let her be, you know. I think she still looks really nice, but I definitely wouldn't wear that either. Then we have, whoa, equal rights for women. Oh, right, okay. Caroline B, or Carolyn. Caroline, I think. Um, and she is wearing a rights for women dress. I think, yes, it's good. It's kind of like she has a voice and she's been able to wear something that it does have a meaning towards it. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that, you know, equal rights for women, yes. Yeah. I think she looks great. <laughs> Next one, who is this? I don't know who this is again. Timothy Chalamet. All in white. I mean, it's very unusual to see a man all in white. I mean, it's alright. He's wearing converses to the Met Gala. I mean, the bold move to wear the converse is, you know, but he looks alright. Again, the white. I don't know. I think, I don't really know, it, it, it looks great though, so I don't really have much to say to that one just because it's all white, it's not really like anything colourful or outlandish, it's just like a white kind of suit and he's wearing converses, which I probably wouldn't wear. Comfort is key, you know, converses are comfortable, so do you blame him? The next one, Eva Chen, I don't have a clue who this woman is again, but She's wearing a bit more out there kind of dress. Um, the kind of like arm um, thing she's got on, it don't really go. But I think her dress is, is all right. It's a bit different, but she suits it. She looks very nice. Her hair isn't too out there either. Um, but I'm not really feeling the gloves. I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, that's where it's just sort of across the line to said no, I don't need them. But it's fine. I'm not gonna judge her because if she wanted to wear that again, she can wear that. <laughs> Next one we have got oh the oh my god, this is Brooklyn Beckham, so it's basically David Beckham's son and this it must be his girlfriend, Nicola. I think they look really nice. Her dress I actually love it. It's pink, obviously. Her kind of gloves match her dress. I'm not really like a fan of them either, really, to be honest, as a whole. But she looks really nice. And obviously, David, uh, he's not called David, he's called Brooklyn. He's just wearing like a standard suit. There's nothing much to say about 
a man in a suit I really like you know it's just standard but her dress I really like it and she really suits it and again all the women's hair it doesn't seem to be too big or anything it just seems to be like straight like down or up really but yeah I, I like her dress right who do we have next we have oh wow I love oh my god who's this this is Amanda C Gorman oh my god her dress I actually am feeling this yeah, that blue colour is beautiful I think she looks actually really stunning in it a little hair piece as well oh my god yes I'm feeling that and it she really suits that blue so I definitely it would wear that if I was going to the Met Gala imagine <laughs> a girl can dream but yeah she looks actually beautiful oh my god I love the dress I actually really like the dress the colour is so nice the next one yeah, this is where it starts to get a bit downhill oh my god what is this I'm just gonna tell you now guys money does not buy fashion or, or like a good fashion sense Dan Levy it doesn't, it doesn't buy good fashion taste is that what it means? I, I, I'm not sure he is wearing I wouldn't even know how to describe it he's wearing a, a pretty much a map of the world if you like to call it that and it, it's got a picture of two men kissing I'm guessing he's maybe gay but it, maybe not his boots they're a no for me this is definitely not my style he probably isn't a lot of many styles why people would even think about wearing this type of thing to a big event I will never know but if he felt comfortable in it <laughs> then they're good for him he, he must feel very confident to wear that I would have a zero confidence to wear that okay but yeah it's just getting a bit worse now yeah yeah who is this this is Julia Garner again she looks pretty average I mean it's basically just like a silvery thing over like a bikini pretty much uh, not bikini like a, like a swimsuit but it's not that bad it's it's still kind of like a glam yeah I, I don't really have much to say but just because it's just like very basic but still all right yeah who is this I, I, Maisie Williams honestly guys the only person who I knew of was Brooklyn Beckham honestly I don't have a clue who all of these people are <laughs> So yeah, um, she's wearing all black. Um, do you know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of those models who who have like a really serious face and walk really quickly, like on the catwalk. It just reminds me of one of those type of models. If you know what I mean, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, those kind of tights or whatever you'd like to call them really go with the dress but again if she wants to wear them with them I, I'm not really keen on those type of shoes either but it's not really my style of outfit to wear anyway it, she still looks great it's just like I don't know oh this is James Carton and Julia Carey oh my god I never realised he had a girlfriend or a wife or a partner whoever it is to him but he looks pretty smart, he's just wearing like a, like a black suit. There's, there's, there's nothing really much to say to that. However, Julia, I actually really like her dress. Again, her hair isn't too like out there, it, it's just tied up, but I think she looks really nice. It's like a lovely kind of champagne tossily dress. I'm kind of feeling that. Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. Oh, bless them. That's nice. Next up, we have Ella. M. M. Hoff. I don't have a clue. She's wearing this. Mm, uh, this red. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a long sleeve bodysuit and then some joggers. Again, I don't know why people would want to wear that. I'm pretty sure she'll feel pretty comfortable wearing that. You know, but. It's just very different. <laughs> I, yeah, 
yeah, I, I don't know. I've, 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 I really don't know right now. Next up we have Billie Eilish. I've actually heard this picture before of her and I was not expecting her to be wearing a big dress or this kind of colour dress because she is very grungy, kind of wearing black and green all the time. Well, that's what she used to be like anyway. I just wasn't expecting her to be wearing this dress and it is a very similar colour to her her skin colour as well. So like, I feel as if it washes her out a bit. I'm not being mean or anything. Um, and her hair as well is so different. Like, I know she's had blonde hair for like a little while now, but oh my god, I was not expecting Billy to look like that. Her makeup though, it, it looks really nice and natural, not too heavy. Um, but I was not expecting her to. I was not expecting her to be wearing anything like that. But I think she looks really beautiful and. It's something very different, but I like it, so yeah. You, you go, girl. <laughs> Next up, we have Sa Sweetie, or Sawitie, I don't know how to pronounce that, and she is wearing a very glittery kind of dress. It's a bit revealing. It's something that you probably see someone wear on holiday. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit revealing. It's a bit like, why would you want? I'm, I'm not trying to be like, yeah, women can't show the body off and stuff, but when you go into like a very formal event, you don't you really want to be seen cut out of people's bodies and stuff, do you? I mean, it, it, she still looks beautiful, I would die to have her figure. I mean, if she wants to show it off, she can show it off, but it's her body. I mean, she looks lovely, so yeah. This one, oh my god, oh my god. What? What does he remind me of? He reminds me of something. Who is this? It's Lil Nas. Isn't he a rapper or something? I, I really don't know. It looks like a... It looks like a Twix or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's a bit... Why would you want to turn up to the Met Gala in that? He must be absolutely sweating. Because I'm pretty sure... He had like another layer on underneath for that or something. But yeah, I mean, it's very different. It's starting to get a bit more weirder and weirder now, as you guys can probably tell. Yeah. Why, why, why? Oh yeah, and then yeah, this is him in his gold outfit. So yeah, the colour scheme for him must have been gold this year. I wonder what the colour scheme is going to be next year for him. Maybe like pink or something, I don't know. Um. This outfit, I think he's just trying a bit too hard, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I am. Yeah, no, it's a no from me. Oh, and this is him again. I told you, he had more than one outfit. Yeah. yeah that one's slightly cooler. I kind of like that one. Yeah, the other two were just a no, but this one is kind of like a cool, like, a very different but still kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably give this one a 7 out of 10. Yeah. This is Barbie Ferreira. Oh my god, her name is Barbie. Oh my god. This dress, I actually really like this. It reminds me of like something like you would wear in Greece or something. Um, very glitzy glammy, but still very like not out there again. Um, and her little headpiece as well, I think it goes really nicely. I think she looks really nice. Oh yeah, you go girl. Let's talk about this one. It could be worse. I think it's just a bit, it's just a bit excessive. Having to have that all that fur on you. Oh, Serena Williams, she's the athlete, isn't she? Ah, yes, I know. I mean, she, it could have been worse. As I said, it's not the nicest thing I've seen, but she's rocking it clearly, so yeah, you go Serena. Go on. This, what the hell is this? The, her, what? Right, who is this for a start? It's Naomi Osaka, Osaka, I, I don't know again. Her hair, what? 
And she must have had to have a lot of hairspray to keep her hair in place. I'm not being rude, but honestly, her hair is like flat out. And her dress, it's alright. It's obvious, it isn't something I would wear. What is on the top of her head? Is that real hair? It can't be. It must have to have a lot of hair to be... She must have a lot of hair to be able to do that hairstyle. Her eye makeup is kind of cool though, but yeah, no, no. Wow, yes, I've already seen this one again, but I think she looks incredible. It's Jennifer Hudson. Hudson. Um, she, she is wearing a gorgeous red dress. She looks absolutely stunning in red. Oh my god, she looks incredible. Oh my god. I love her hair like that as well. Oh my god, she actually looks unreal. She looks so classy in red. I actually love it. I'm actually feeling that. Oh my god, she looks so pretty. <gasps> then we have Kaya Gerber. You're wearing like a simple black dress. You're very classy. You're not too out outlandish. She looks beautiful. You know, the less is more, I think, sometimes. And she has clearly shown that. She looks stunning and I love her short hair as well, oh my god. And her makeup as well is beautiful. Who is this? This, oh my god, her, again, beautiful, oh my god. It's Yaraz Shadidi um, and she is wearing this lovely kind of silvery dress. I actually love her style. I think she looks so pretty. She looks like a bride, like, yeah, that's how nice she looks. And I love like a little jewellery and stuff as well. Oh my god, she looks so lovely. The next up we have I hi I have no words, okay? I really have no words. This is Kim Petras. Why the hell would you want to dress up as a horse to the Met Gala? I'm not being unkind here, but it just it's not even fashionable. My camera completely cut out. Um so I'm going to have to film them again, which I am annoyed about because yeah, this camera is so annoying. Right, so if, if we got up to Kim Petra, now if we're moving on to we are moving on to Iman. Her dress is absolutely beautiful. It's very different, but absolutely stunning. I just think she looks amazing, and it's very out there again but she it looks gorgeous like absolutely stunning and if I could look like her I would honestly die yes it, it really suits really goldy kind of like the colours as well it really suits the skin tone and her makeup wow 10 out of 10 now we have Nikki tutorials oh my god how beautiful does she look she looks absolutely amazing. I love the colour of the dress and the flowers on it. And it, it says pay it, pay it no mint. Oh, no mind. <laughs> um, and her headpiece. Oh my god, amazing. And I also wonder if she did her own makeup. I bet she did because she wouldn't let anyone touch her face. I wouldn't have thought. But yeah, I think she looks really lovely. And it's still kind of different. But she looks amazing. Next up we have another red dress. It is... Let's have a look and see where it is. It is Kylie Kloss. Again, the red dresses are very classic. Very timeless. She looks beautiful. It's still a bit out there. But still beautiful. And the man who she's with has got like a red rose on him. I think it's so cute. They love to be together clearly because like, he's wearing like a red rose and she's wearing red, you know. But yeah, it registers again. It looks so lovely. And she looks absolutely stunning again. It, it definitely like a classy outfit, 100%. 110%, yeah. Then we have, who is this? Irina Shaki. And her dress, I love the flowers on it. I really love the flowers, however, on the top bit, I think she could have more kind of detail on there, because it looks a bit too plain, however, she still looks lovely, it's still like a lovely florally dress, 
it's not my favourite dress find but I mean yeah she still looks very really nice so I'm not going to really say much about that because she still looks really lovely it's still kind of different but I love the flowers then we have who is this Kyra and she is wearing a rugby dress I'm sorry but it looks like she's going to the Met Gala at 6 and then and then rugby at 7. If the dress didn't have the number 3 on it and like the shoulder things it would look beautiful but I just think it ruins the dress. It should suit the green mind but it's just a number. I'm just not really keen on it on the dress on her but her hair as well she must have had her hair waved. I think her hair is gorgeous. I love the colour of her hair actually and it's so long but yeah and her makeup as well it looks absolutely beautiful you know she still looks lovely you know it's yeah who's oh no what is this one what is this dress well, not dress I mean outfit Frank Ocean why the hell is he carrying a fake child? Yeah, that just gives me the creeps. And his outfit as well isn't even nice. It's just like a, a black chain. His hair. Yeah, it's just a bit creepy. Why would you want a little kid like that? It just imagine him carrying it around all day. Like, all evening. It's just not normal. You know. And then... We have Justin and Hayley Bieber, the beautiful couple. The only thing I will say is that Justin, it looks like he's wearing his dad's kind of trousers, but Hayley looks so classy and beautiful in that black dress. And of course, they are a beautiful couple, but Justin just isn't really feeling it for me. And he's also wearing he's also wearing white trainers as well, which I don't agree with. I just think, why would you want to wear trainers to the Met Gala? But Hayley looks beautiful, and they are a lovely little couple, so... I can't really say much more, because it just looks so lovely. Anyway. And now, moving on to Kendall Jenner. I think she is one stunning girl. I think her dress is lovely, it's very glammy, it really suits her style. She will also look lovely in whatever she wears and her makeup as well is still very kind of natural but still lovely, you know. The next up we have Kim Kardashian. I just think, who in the right mind wears that to the Met Gala? You can't even see her face and what I think is that it's not even Kim Kardashian under the outfit because why would you want to cover your whole face and body by wearing black? I just think it's a bit odd and a lot of people thought the same as well so at least I'm not the only person who thinks this but I think she's definitely trying to hide something and if you look on her actual Instagram page as well like a theme is all black and like uh, her and Kanye West's um, uh, profile pictures are just black so it's kind of weird how they were both well if they were actually both there at the Met Gala wearing black. Again, very weird. I hate it. I really am not keen on that kind of look. I just think, why? It's not even fashionable. Money does not buy fashion. As I keep saying in, in this video, it really doesn't. Um, yeah, I'm just not really keen on it. I'm, I'm really not keen on that. And then we have, who next? The Gigi Hadid. Oh my god. I love her hair colour, she actually really suits it. I actually seen this photo on Instagram yesterday and oh my god, she looks so beautiful. Her dress is kind of different, but she really suits it and her makeup as well is beautiful. She's, she's very naturally pretty as well. Then we have, who next? Oh my god, this dress is so lovely. It's a, li a, li a Lily Rain hat, if that's what you call it. Her dress is beautiful. I love the flowers on it. It's very pretty and pink and it reminds me of like in my bedroom in a way because I do have like a pink bedroom. But yeah, her dress is lovely. I love the flowers on it. I think she looks really sweet and it's still very nice and glammy for the Met Gala. 
Then we have the Normani. Now this dress, to be honest, I'm not really keen on big dresses. And that's probably why I've been put off the people who wear the bigger dresses. However, Normani, it does really suit that kind of style dress and the colour also. Um, so I, d I do think she looks lovely in it. However, it won't be something I would choose to wear to the Met Gala. You know, <laughs> I would uh, love to go to the Met Gala, but I most likely will never be able to go in my lifetime. But yeah. I think it's still a nice dress. Yeah. It just, they look at Kim and Kanye West. I do not believe in the slightest they are with them underneath, if you know what I mean. I think it's just two random people, like, or doppelgangers of the two of them who were wearing that. Odd. Oh dear. But then we have the Rihanna and Yes, it's Procky or Procky. I don't know who he is. First of all, they look like they've just got out of the couch and they've just arrived at the Met Gala just wearing the blanket and like the jacket or something. I mean, they look very comfortable and cosy. However, it's a no from me. Why you would want to wear that to the Met Gala, I'll never understand. It looks like he's wearing like a load of bean bags. What he's wearing it reminds me of like primary school where it had the bean bags. It's really weird. And I did not expect Ariana to be wearing that either. Yeah, it's just not even fashionable, and money does not buy fashion, like a good fashion sense. It really doesn't. Next up, we have the Lord Leon. I think she looks beautiful. I love the pink. However, I think her outfit is maybe a bit revealing for the Met Gala. You know, I think. She could have maybe wore something a bit more classier, but at the end of the day, it's up to them what they wear. You know, I'm only kind of like reacting to them. <laughs> oh, it, it just gets worse and worse. But this is Kid Cudi. He's wearing a sweatshirt and then kind of like <laughs> a rain pant bottoms. It, it looks as if it's like he's wearing something on his bottom legs to protect him from not getting any rain on them. I just think, why would you want to wear that? And his chain as well, yeah, yeah, and his hair. It's not even fashionable. I bet he feels really comfortable wearing that now. And then final one for me reacting to, we have, let's have a look, we, oh my god, the Gab Union. I'm guessing it's a singer Gabriella maybe, I, I'm not quite sure. But her dress looks so nice. I don't know what it's made out of but and she really suits it she really suits the colour I think she looks so nice and her hair is actually really cool as well you know I, I think I think it's still very classy and very glitzy glammy for the Met Gala and it's something that you would not expect but still looks really nice and really suits her style so here is the end of me reacting to the Met Gala outfits what did what did you guys think of the outfits this year? I definitely think they started to get a bit weirder and weirder. A lot of celebrities do make very questionable fashion choices, don't they? So, I mean, you were bound to be expecting it. But I think the most favourite one for me was the one where she had like the massive headpiece on. I think she looked really beautiful. However, the one I hated the most it was probably the one where like he was holding the little fake baby I thought oh, that was very creepy it was a bit odd and it just didn't make any sense to me but what are your guys' favourite uh, Met Gala outfits please leave them in the comment down below and if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe and I will see you all in my next video bye for today